Las Cruces police say they're working to address a big uptick in violent crime. CBS 4 at Ariana Pata is in Las Cruces tonight to let you know about the crime fighting strategies the department is considering in response. In a packed city hall today, members of the Las Cruces community gathered to hear the police department's efforts to help reduce crime in the city. It's something that people who attended today tell me they've grown tired of. Crime, it affects everywhere and uh, every business in Las Cruces. Specifically for me, I know a lot of businesses are having a lot of issues. I was born and raised here. I this, and it's not, it doesn't look the same anymore. So I do want to see what we can do to make some changes. During a town hall meeting, the Las Cruces police released statistics showing an increase in violent crimes. Crime in Las Cruces is becoming a problem. From January to March of 2024, there were 169 violent crimes compared to 107 in the same time frame last year. It's a 58% increase in total violent crimes. Meantime, police say property crime is down 9% compared to this time last year. Despite those mixed results, police say property crime and violent crime combined is down since 2023. What changed? You might be asking yourself that question. First and foremost, Chief Story became our Deputy Chief of Operations in October of 2022. The department credits Chief Story's implementation of a new policing strategy in which crime hotspots are more heavily patrolled. Introduced the concept of evidence-based, intelligence-led policing approach to prevent crime. We are not satisfied and we're not content. While violent crime was up drastically to start the year, the Las Cruces police were able to collaborate with state police on a new effort to focus on high crime areas from February to March. The results of this project, violent crime was reduced by 44 percent, numerous arrests and recovery of significant amount of property to include drugs, weapons and stolen vehicles. The department plans to continue heavily policing high crime areas in order to continue decreasing crime in the city. As we continue to compile data, our approach will be directed towards the current crime, uh, crime trends. The same evidence-based, intelligence-led policing approach that Chief Story brought to our department is very useful and helpful. Now, Chief Story did end today's town hall saying that he plans to present two new ordinances to Las Cruces City Council next week on Monday during their work session. He says these two ordinances will help to continue tackling crime in the city. Reporting in Las Cruces, Ariana Parra, CBS4 at 10.